haven't seen anything that's, um, out of the ordinary around here, have you? Maybe something hidden, shaped like a bottle cap. I thought we told you to keep your ass at the market. If you're looking for something, you can find it there, like everyone else. I'm not here for the market. I didn't travel hundreds of miles to go shopping. I don't suppose you came here for a bullet in the brain, either. So if you want to live, I suggest you stay where you belong. Oh, you guys are real friendly, aren't you? Nuka World! I've always dreamed of coming here, and now I finally made it! This place is amazing, don't you think? Yeah, I guess it is pretty impressive. It sure is. You can just imagine the children smiling and happy, all drinking Nuka Cola and having the time of their lives. It, it must have been magical. The name's Sierra Petrovita. I traveled all the way from the Capital Wasteland to visit this place. Maybe you've heard about my Nuka Cola Museum? Oh, yeah. The Nuka Cola Museum. Everyone's heard of that. Really? That's great! I'm so glad word is catching on. Maybe I'll get more visitors soon. You just made my day! Here, let me return the favor. It's not really cold anymore, but I'm sure it still tastes great. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. What are you searching for? I don't really want to say. It's nothing personal. I, I just don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. I'm a fellow Nuka Cola fan, so you can definitely trust me. Wow, really? That's great. In fact, that gives me an idea. I've read all kinds of things about the park, and I'd love to tell someone about it. How about I give you a little tour of Nuka Town here? And when it's over, I'll share my secret. What do you say? Sounds like a great idea. Okay, then let's get started. Right this way, if you please. That last one died too fast. I'm losing my touch. This top mountain here provides a commanding view of Nuka Town, USA, and the other areas of the park. Some of the finest and most expensive dining in the park was found at this top grill, which you can see up on the mountain slope. attractions at Nuka World were rides. The Nuka Cade here boasted dozens of exciting games of skill for the whole family to enjoy. Winning the games meant earning tickets you could spend to get all kinds of awesome Nuka Cola merchandise. If I'd been around back then, I'd probably have spent a whole week in here trying to win all the prizes. could sit down to a sumptuous meal at the parlor dinner theater, home to the renowned Nuka World players. The parlor wasn't just a dinner theater. It also hosted one of the park's most sought-after events, the Bottle and Cappy Show. The show was so popular, tickets would sell out months in advance. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself, how high were they when they built this place? With its brightly colored design and delicious burgers and fries, it's no surprise Cappy's Cafe was hugely popular with kids. 
The cafe was best known for its super spicy Nuka Blast Burger, which was so hot, it was nicknamed the A-Bomb on a Bun. On the park's busiest days, the line to get into the cafe was said to stretch all the way to Fizz Top Mountain. is Nuka World's front gate, which led to this entrance plaza. It was widely believed that the park's average daily attendance numbered in the tens of thousands. Of course, the Nuka-Cola Corporation never released official figures, but from everything I've read, I think that's a low estimate. You might have seen the robot dressed like a big red Nuka-Cola bottle. That's Nira, the park's informational attendant. She might be the only one in the park who's as enthusiastic about Nuka-Cola as I am. <laughs> Concludes the tour. Pretty good, huh? That was very informative. Thank you. It was my pleasure, especially since none of the gangs wanted to hear any of that. Believe me, I tried. I guess you could think of me as the world's biggest Nuka Cola fan. I've been obsessed with the stuff since the first time I tasted it. I collect all the merchandise I can find, like these awesome Cappy glasses I'm wearing. But these aren't just ordinary sunglasses. They were part of a really cool contest that started just before the war. And oh my gosh. And the winner of the contest would get to meet the famous John Caleb Bradburton himself. Bradburton. I remember that name. He was the guy who invented Nuka-Cola, right? Exactly. Wow. Not a lot of people know that, at least not anymore. So, to win the contest, you had to find 10 images of Cappy, the Nuka-Cola mascot, hidden throughout the park. Each image has part of a code or something, and only these special glasses can reveal it. Now I know what you're thinking. Brad Burton's long gone. Who cares about the contest anymore? Well, I'm betting that somewhere in his office is the original Nuka-Cola formula. That formula was one of the great mysteries of the soft drink world, and it would be the crown jewel of my collection. If you can help me get it, I promise it'll be worth your while. What's in it for me? I was just getting to that part. Brad Burton didn't just create soda formulas. He was a genius who invented all kinds of fantastic things. All I really care about is getting my hands on the Nuka-Cola formula. Any other inventions we find are yours to keep. So, what do you think? Eh, sure, why not? Might learn more about the park while I'm at it. Good point! You're new here after all. You should learn everything you can. I'll give you my cappy glasses and this old contest tape. It's got hints about where to find the hidden cappies. Just track down the clues, and then come back to me once you've found them all. I'm an expert in all things Nuka-Cola, so I'm sure I'll be able to decipher it. Happy hunting! Sure, we carry guns, but knives are where it's at. It's not fun unless you're up close and personal. That's one.
Two clues down, eight to go. That's three clues. The letters must spell something. Okay, that's another clue found. Aha, uh -huh. got another one. Clue number seven. Eight clues, almost done. Clue number nine. One left. Attention, please. Today's performance of Capio and Bottlehead will begin in approximately 50. Welcome to the Nuka Cola World of Refreshment. Now featuring a river of Nuka Cola Nuka Quantum. Cola. It took almost two years to perfect the formula, but in late 2044, Mr. Bradley Out West, they enjoy regional favorites such as the classy Nuka Cola Quartz and refreshingly patriotic Nuka Cola Victory. And that's all ten clues. I better get these back to Sierra and see or what for she those can make. Here's hoping they didn't hide the cappies too well. I found all of the hidden cappies. 
Each one had a letter. Great. Let me take a look at these letters. Well, anyone who stared at Nuka-Cola merchandise as long as I have would get this one pretty fast. The letters definitely spell refreshing. It's simpler than I was expecting. Well, of course it's simple. The contest was meant for kids. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I guess sometimes I take all of this Nuka-Cola stuff so seriously. This door should lead to Brad Burton's office, but it's locked up tight. The keypad is the only way to open it. I guess we just need to key in the 10 numbers that correspond to the word refreshing. You did all the work looking for the hidden copies, so you should be the one who gets to enter the code. That's it! The door's unlocked! Let's go inside! Let's search carefully. I'm willing to bet this place has a few secrets, and they'll probably be well hidden. You were one sneaky devil. Let's see where the hidden elevator goes. Going down. Four. Wow, what is this place? Let's take a closer look. has got to be past this door. Hmm, now this looks interesting. Come on! What on earth? Wait. No. It can't be. That's John Caleb Bradburton! Or at least it's his head. Wow! Who... Who are you? I haven't seen a real human face in so long. I had given up all hope. Oh my god! It's alive! He's alive! My name's Sierra, sir. I'm your biggest admirer. I love Nuka-Cola more than anything. This is such an honor. You there, with the Pip-Boy. What are you doing here? We solved your hidden cappy contest. The hidden cappy contest? It all seems so long ago. Another lifetime. That was before I became this monster. Before I was trapped here for centuries to suffer in solitude. This was General Braxton's plan all along. Damn the man. He called it Project Cobalt. In exchange for my weapon design, he would give me access to life-extending technology. I'm such a fool for taking him at his word. He never told me that this would be the price. Who was General Braxton? He was one of the top men in the Army Research Laboratory's Weapons and Materials Division. He'd taken a keen interest in my quantum mechanics research and offered me a trade. In exchange for my assistance on a top secret weapons project, he gave me access to an experimental process that would artificially extend my life. Like a fool, I leapt before I looked. I've certainly paid the price for my short-sightedness. A... a weapon? I don't believe it. Why would the genius who brought so much joy to the world want to make something destructive? Genius is restless, madam. It must expand, seek new challenges, and explore new frontiers. So yes, 
a weapon. It was going to be a quantum-enhanced variant of the standard portable tactical warhead. In fact, the prototypes are stored in this very chamber. You can have them on one condition. I want you to shut off the power to this machine that's keeping me alive. I want to die. What? No! Come on. You're a disembodied head, trapped in a vault. You've got so much to live for. Despite your obvious sarcasm, you clearly recognize my situation for the living hell that it is. You can't kill him. He's a great man. He invented Nuka-Cola, the best thing in the world. Lady, you don't know what a torment it is. Being trapped here alone and staring at the same wall decade after decade. Now please shut up while I talk to your more rational friend here. I realize that what I'm asking isn't easy, but there's something in it for you. When the power is cut, the door to the prototype storage room will open automatically. Take anything you want. I don't care anymore. Just please, set me free at last. I can't bear this loneliness any longer. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Mr. Bradburton wants to die because he's lonely, right? Well, maybe I could stay with him, you know? Keep him company, give him someone to talk to. He's like a hero to me. You've got a point. But I want compensation for the prototype ammo I won't be getting. Well, uh, I do have one thing that might interest you. I've got a limited edition Nuka-Cola jumpsuit. It's really stylish and not many were made. It's one of my most treasured possessions, but, well, I'm willing to let you have it. A Nuka-Cola jumpsuit? Ha! That's a paltry prize compared to what I'm offering. The choice is yours, but I beg you to honor my wishes. There is no one else who can help me. I sort of feel sorry for him. I couldn't stand being a frozen head. How could I drink Nuka-Cola? Hey, Sierra. I'm almost afraid to ask, but... What's your decision? I'll accept your offer. I won't shut the power off. Thank you, thank you, thank you! You're doing the right thing! After all, this is a great man we're talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a living legend to talk to. Good luck running Nuka World! Help yourself to anything that you think is useful. None of it means much to me anymore. <laughs> 